The streams louder. Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Switcher T Scored, and today I'm bringing you guys Moab with every proficiency episode number six. And this one is using the melee proficiency. So, uh, one thing I want to point out is that the melee one actually makes your melee speed a little bit faster. So, if you're using this weapon proficiency in the game, it basically makes it so that when you try to knife people, uh, it does the knife animation like a little bit quicker, I guess. So then you don't have to uh, take as long. There's a lot of times where, like, if you try to knife somebody, it takes too long to like pull out the knife and then knife them and then uh, you know tuck the knife back in and then a lot of times you get shot like as it's doing the animation so uh, that's kind of what the melee one does in this game and I don't think in this Moab here I actually got even one knife kill uh, the thing is though you guys everyone knows like knifing in Call of Duty is a really bizarre thing uh, there's some times where you get like the craziest panic knife lunges ever like you've taken like five bullets of damage and then somebody's like 10 feet away from you and then somehow you're able to knife them and then there's other times where the enemies are literally right in front of you and then you try to knife them in the back and then the knife misses so the knifing is just really uh, inconsistent like throughout all the Call of Duty games uh, especially in Black Ops 2 if you guys have not played Black Ops 2 uh, the knifing in that game is just insane like you can try to knife somebody 12 times in a row and you guys are both just running around in circles and nobody can knife each other so uh, that game is just insane and uh, in this gameplay you guys like I was running the melee proficiency but uh, I didn't really get any knife kills so I do apologize for that I wish I could have gotten maybe a few knife kills to kind of show you guys uh, that the animation speed is a bit quicker so uh, that's kind of just all I really wanted to say about the gameplay it's basically just a standard mp7 moab here on dome uh, because I didn't really get any knife kills so that's all I really wanted to say uh, and in today's video you guys I want to tell you guys more about my Portland Marathon results from like a month ago so I made a video after the marathon was done I told you guys that I finished it I told you guys it was like the greatest experience of my life and I told you guys I was gonna check the results and the times and then make another video to tell you guys kind of how I did actually so uh, now that it's been like about a month since then I haven't really been home and now I'm finally home and I can tell you guys the actual results so uh, basically you guys in the Portland Marathon this year there was 5,550 runners and I actually got 150th place so uh, that means I finished in the top 3% and I'm only 18 years old you guys so there was a lot of like really elite runners who are like in their 20s and 30s who have done various marathons and they're really really good and I got 150th place and I'm only 18 years old so I have no idea how I managed to do that good and they also break down the ages by like age division and my age division was 14 to 19 years old and I actually got third place out of like the 26 people in my age division so I think the top three for every age division gets an award it's like a plaque so in a few weeks you guys they're sending me a plaque in the mail it's gonna say like my name actually and my place and my time and stuff so that's gonna be a really really cool thing uh, not only did I get like my medals and my commemorative coins and stuff but I'm actually going to get a special plaque because of how well I place in my age division. So uh, that's pretty insane, you guys. My final time was 3 hours, 11 minutes, and 22 seconds. And that means I ran 718 mile pace uh, for 26 miles in a row. So I still can't believe I did that well, you guys. I trained at like 730 mile pace when I would do like, you know, 10 to 15 mile runs. And then I managed to do a 26 mile run at a way faster pace. So when you do a real marathon or like a real race, you guys, you just get that extra adrenaline your body just like takes itself to like a new level and I just cannot believe how well I did and the craziest thing you guys is that I actually qualified for the Chicago Marathon in 2016 and that's arguably the third fastest or the third best marathon in the world behind New York and Boston so my time of 3 hours 11 minutes was less than 3 hours and 15 minutes so I did qualify you guys I'm trying to save up money for Chicago I'll make another video about that tomorrow but uh, I cannot believe how good I did you guys it's absolutely insane and uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video peace out you guys